Today you find me in the city of Birmingham in the UK and I'm with my dad and my 24mm to 105 f4 which I'm using with the Canon R6. I'm going to try and take you through the process with me today so that you can see how I think about the photos that I take uh, when I capture them. This is because anyone that's new to street photography might get inspired or even some ideas and hopefully that's going to add some value to you guys when watching the video. Now in the distance over there I can see this building which really stands out to me. The architecture is quite striking especially from the bottom to the middle you've got these strong ridges which really stand out. Now I wanted to get this vertically so you could see how big the building was with some people walking towards it. Sometimes when I'm taking street photos, I just notice something, it pops out to me almost straight away and I capture it. And I found that I've got some of my best photos doing that. You can see that here. I noticed this guy walking down the street with these leading lines and captured it. Don't be afraid to take more than one photo at an area as well. So here I'd noticed that this lamppost could potentially provide some really nice depth to the original photo that I'd taken. So using something like this as a foreground and creating depth in your image is a great way of adding more into a photo, especially if it might look a bit plain to start with. I went back to the clock tower area which I'd started at because I'd noticed that the clouds in the background, not that you could probably notice here, had really changed and come alive and the sun was coming through them. So I wanted to get the top of the clock tower against the clouds and I think actually it worked out pretty well. Sometimes something that can look potentially quite boring like this building on the left hand side can provide something really nice for your photo. They've got these pillars which lead vertically up and they're a real strong leading line up to the sky. So I tried to capture someone walking towards me here and then separate them from the building to show how big it was. I hadn't finished with the clock tower yet either. Now I took a very similar image when I visited Birmingham recently, almost the same composition, but I'd used the wall on the left hand side as a leading line. This time I wanted to add the foreground as this nice green foliage here. Hoping that it would make it more vibrant and the background would pop out more, providing you with this kind of old city and new city and the background as you will see in a minute. When do you see now three phone boxes like this together? I mean, I never see one where I live, so it was kind of a bit of a treat, a bit of a historical treat for me, because I remember when I was growing up, you saw more of these around, and now you rarely see them. So I just wanted to get a snap here. I'll throw them together just to give me that little bit of nostalgia. Here I noticed these boards ahead of me gave this real nice, colourful and vibrant feel to my surroundings. But when you look at the rest of it, it looks kind of quite dull in comparison. So this naturally creates a contrast in the image. This is where I decided to use these nice, colourful boards as a leading line, drawing you into the building in the background. Sometimes I will notice a place when I'm walking around doing street photography, which could potentially be a great composition or a beautiful photo. But I know that it's not quite right at the time. So maybe you need someone to walk into the photo to add that extra something, or maybe you need the conditions to change so the sun needs to light up that area. 
That was the exact thing I was looking for here. This lamppost provided a really nice foreground and depth, but I needed the conditions to change and get nice and sunny like this. So I waited around for a few minutes, it changed, and then it was just about waiting for someone to walk around the corner and provide that beautiful scene for me to capture with my R6. You'll notice that a few times today I've actually been shooting in burst mode and I highly advise that whenever you're shooting people or you want to get people in your frame just put it into high continuous mode because you never know exactly when someone is going to walk through at the right time and you don't want to get that to chance or don't want to leave it to chance so ensure that you Put it in burst mode and give yourself that extra security when you're taking photos of people moving. That's what I did here and you'll see that I was able to pick one out and it actually worked out really nicely. At this point I was walking through the older part of the city here, just where the park is on the left hand side. But here ahead of me I noticed these beautiful railings which may not look like much but to me I saw leading lines which were going straight down and really providing a beautiful image potentially um, at the right time. So what I decided to do here was try the composition out with these railings and then these ceiling blocks here which you can see above these shops. I decided the right hand side was best to go with because it made for a better composition and I just wanted a person coming through at the right time. So I'm firing away in burst mode, getting the right image, and then you'll see in a minute that it actually worked out really nicely. These kind of shots, I just like. They're nothing special really. Um, I just like to get like a classic look against a beautiful blue sky. And that's what these kind of classic lights do for me with a photo. So nothing special here guys, but it's just got that old city feel to it. And I really like it. I turned around and to my surprise, the sun was really shining now and it had lit up the park here ahead of me. So I quickly got my focus, fired out on this lady on the bench and it straight away provided a beautiful scene. Needless Alley, wow. What a name for an alley, eh? These alleys in Birmingham are always going to provide you with striking photos, especially when you've got these bold leading lines from these dull yellow lines here. As you can see, just looks great. I love it. Now just to my right hand side here, I noticed that there was some steps with these little yellow colored markings on here leading up to this building. It may not look like much here through the GoPro, but I knew that just how symmetrical this looked, it was just gonna make a really nice photo. So I stopped off here, got my focus on the building at the back, changed my um, aperture to f5.6 here, and then fired away. Just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's watched the video today. I hope you've enjoyed this style of POV street photography where I kind of walk you through my process and hopefully if you're new to this you can learn something along the way. Guys whatever you do for the rest of the day make sure you have a great day and if you haven't yet hit subscribe and hit that like button it would mean a lot to me. See you in the next one.